I won't lie to you guys, it's been rough. <laughs> it's the next day from yesterday, which is when I filmed my Sheen haul. And it is 3.23. I probably woke up at like 2.30 today because I want to sleep at like 7 in the morning. My sleep schedule has really, really just been wrecked. I, the amount of anxiety that just overwhelms me at night and the amount of distractions that I <sighs> try to do to just distract me from the anxiety. I need to, I have melatonin to like help me sleep and I just don't take it. But I need to start because I don't think that this is sustainable. I, I don't know, it's just a lot. But anyways, also yesterday I was looking at the video and I have this stain on my shirt and I have to tell you, I've had this shirt for like years and until like it's no longer wearable I just keep shirts to like, you know, it's like disgustingly not okay. But I just want to tell you that that's like a permanent stain, I have no idea what that is but I saw that yesterday and I was like, Jesus. Okay, anyways. I got my Boohoo order and I had never heard of Boohoo. I actually went on Twitter and I was talking about, oh, it's kind of like a bag. That's cool. And like plus size fashion. And someone recommended this brand. Boohoo. I thought it was so funny. It's like Boohoo. Yeah, Boohoo. Depression. Cymbalta can help. Cymbalta cannot help. I need to go on pills. Now, this is, I think, a UK brand because there was UK sizes or the sizing chart was UK. And I think it even shipped from the UK to California. So, again, I also sized up on this. And I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. Oh, it doesn't close. But, you know, I have shirts that I wear like this that I don't button up, but like aesthetically I like it. So honestly, it's fine. I'm just nervous for the rest because I think this is the skirt that I got. Oh, it's stretchy. Okay, so that's good. It's a really regular skirt. It's pretty stretchy, so that's great. I really do not know who I think I am, but I got this like utility looking purse. This smells like plastic. I will say Boohoo and Sheen both have really fire accessories. So if you're ever in the mood for that, oh, yeah, I got um like a body con, um, whatever this is called, body suit. More so for the winter. I gave up on cleaning the bags again. This I'm 100% nervous about. But it has some elastic, so there's that. I'm still nervous, though. Oh, it doesn't have pockets. Well, my flat booty. I mean, it fits, and that's honestly the one thing I was extremely nervous about. So there's that. I'm like, because if the shirt didn't fit, I'm nervous for you. Is it? Oh! This is this is just a regular old shirt for me. This is not a dress. My <laughs> This is not a dress. I No, unless I I don't know. I don't know how I would style this, but a dress is not cuz it comes like right below Right, right, right below. Also, there's like some strings hanging out from the sleeves and stuff. I feel like this is... 
I mean, the, the material of this seems um, thicker, but the seams jobs is probably on par with like Dee Dee's discount or like not that great. I would argue probably Forever 21 has better seam jobs than this thing. I mean, not much to say about this one. It's a robe. I do like that I can actually like close it. That was the one thing that I was like, oh my god. But no, I can. No, it's, no, it's, it's like a dusty rose pink. But yeah, I just, I will say that like, look at this. The hem is not that great and there's string. at the end and so I feel like the stitching on some of this stuff the sewing on this is a lot better this is boohoo brand are they all boohoo brand no because the skirt and stuff weren't no see oh it, it is boohoo. well I don't know the material of this one is like heavy it's, it's nice but the stitch work is just not that great. Granted, I don't know, maybe this is all like, or maybe this is also just unfair wage labor, exploitation, fast fashion. But I also gotta say that I recently read a thread on Twitter talking about how specifically like fat folks, it's like a struggle, right? Because you wanna be sustainable but you also want to be cute and then there was that whole trend of going and buying like twice the size of your pants at the thrift store to only remake into size pants that actually fit you which takes away access to like clothes for fat folks who actually need the clothes at the thrift store and then it's like you want to be like cool and trendy and then you look at prices and it's just unattainable for folks who may not be able to have first of all steady income at this point um but second of all like just inaccessible monetary wise and then we go to fast fashion and then we get like shamed for it and it's like bro jesus but anyways, um, really sad about this dress. I really would have wanted for this to be a dress. This was supposed to be a dress. And, I mean, again, I don't know. Maybe if I put some, some real dark tights or, I don't know. I will figure this out. But I was most anxious about the skirt slash short situation and those fits. So that was really exciting. I'm very nervous to wash everything because I'm like please don't unravel and this dress the cottage core dreams um I don't know about returning it just because it's just too much effort you know it's just too much I think I'm gonna just sell it on depop so there's that Overall, first impressions on Boohoo versus Shein. Oh my god, my hair, the amount of hair that I shed, y'all, it's just concerning. Um, there's definitely a lot of cute options in both sites, even though they're limited for plus size people. The fact that they even still have options is like a plus for me. And I will say that, I mean, again, in both hauls, I got seven items on Sheen and only one didn't fit. I got, how many items did I get on this one? One, two, three, four, five, six. Out of the six clothing items, one clothing item just didn't meet my expectations. And that was this shirt. Cause it just didn't close. Granted, I would have liked the dress to be longer and actually a dress, but I mean, it still fit me. 
but this did not close so this didn't um so like both of them like one item was just kind of like a bust but i will say that um they're always having sales and i can definitely see the appeal of like shopping from both of these websites uh i will say that the workmanship on boohoo is a little bit more of a miss for me, just because some of the way that some of these things are constructed, I feel like after two washes might fall apart. And the sheen, even though cheaply made, I feel like if I was delicate with everything, then they would last me. And so for like some of the lingerie, I actually put it in a pouch that I will wash. And so it makes sure that there's no possibility for it to get snagged on anything. Um, but yeah, I don't know. The craftsmanship of just Boohoo was just a little questionable to me on the durability of a garment. And that is not sustainable. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't say that I prefer Sheen over um, Boohoo because like I said, I think that... On both I have to manage my expectation and the possibility that things might not fit me based on the reviews as well I feel like it's a gamble what I will say is I feel like the accessories and purses and stuff are pretty solid 10 out of 10 for each website because the purse came out really nice and all of the accessories that I got on Sheen as well were also really great so I mean, honestly, inconclusive. Um, I would purchase from both websites again, honestly. So there's that. I think that I would just read the reviews and make sure to, again, just size up. And, you know, this gave me a little bit of confidence because now I know, you know, what sizes to order in, you know, each different website. But... Again, I would just, um, I would just stay cautious. I will say, this is a pretty alright experience. I mean, I'm gonna go wash everything and take a body shower and maybe get ready for the day. Um, I definitely need to work on stuff, but I just feel pretty blue, so. Also, maybe I have to eat. It's been rough. I don't know what to say. Um, and I thought that getting clothes would make me feel better because, well, first of all, um, I'm pretty good on makeup. <laughs> I'm like solid 10 out of 10 on makeup. There's really no need for me to buy anything else at this point. Um, and clothes, I've been wanting to go like clothes shopping for a while, kind of get my mind off of things and I mean, it was very exciting to unbox everything and try everything on. And, I don't know, maybe I'll put in effort to, like, dress up for the day and it'll make me feel better. Even if I am just, like, around the house. Um, other than that, thank you all for watching and I'll see you later.